to the 2012 Intel i7 Thank opening you. ceremonies. And now, your host for this evening's ceremony, from Pittsburgh's WPXI-TV, please welcome reporter Brandon Hudson. <laughs>
please check the email this evening for a very important message. Exhibit violations will be posted all around the major doors in the convention center and on the SSP website. The e-lounge will be open tomorrow through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We close on Friday and also you got to take a chance to check out <coughs> and tell the experience right outside this hallway. Create your own collectible card, listen to the DJ, or you can just hang out. I stopped by earlier today. Take a look. Here is my character card. Uh, looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. Can use some work. Well, what do you think? Everybody like that? Alright, be sure to stop by anytime through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. You may have heard we are utilizing Twitter for Intel ISEF 2012. Just use the hashtag Intel ISEF and providing your friends with updates throughout this entire week. In fact, I've actually been following some of you and some of your tweets already. Where is Team Canada? <laughs> Team Canada, you know, I'm glad that you all were able to make it. Heard about your flat tire situation, so welcome to Intel ISEF. So, tonight we're we'll using Twitter to include questions from our keynote speaker, Ben Gulak, who will meet with you later this evening. Just tweet your question using the hashtag Intel ISEF, and if you'd like to use that question, we'd be happy to use it. Who knows? Some of your questions may be chosen. Everybody got all that? Yeah. Okay. Everybody got all of that? Yeah! All right, we have a very special guest this evening. It is my pleasure to introduce our first guest. This person has one of the coolest jobs that I've ever heard of. In fact, when I first learned about what he does, it sounded like something out of a science fiction novel. It turns out <coughs> science fiction actually plays a big part of his job. Also, with reinventing TV, he has made pioneering development artificial intelligence, robotics, and using science, fi science fiction as a design tool. He speaks and writes extensively about future technologies and articles and scientific papers, as well as scientific fiction, I should say science fiction, science fiction, short stories, and novels. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big Intel ISEP round of applause for Intel's futurist, Mr. Brian David Johnson. <laughs> Now, 